What? This is a game changer. Oh. The future is here, apparently. I've had an email and it promises a groundbreaking way of editing photos. So I thought I could either dive into this new thing, find out all about it and bring to you my research and findings in a video, or I could hit record and we can go into it together and discover it at the same time. Yep, that one sounds more interesting. Hello there, I'm GB. I do all sorts of stuff with cameras, challenges around the world, film photography, video editing and whatever. And today we're trying something new that describes itself as revolutionary and innovative. And normally I'd be incredibly skeptical of marketing buzzwords like this, but well, it comes from a brand who make one of my favorite editing apps and that's the team over at Dehancer. Let me just read this email out to you and you can then be entirely caught up to where I am and we'll go into this at the same entry point. Before we do though, I want you to forget one thing and pretend like you don't hear it or see it for the next few minutes. Remove from your vocabulary the word film. All right, just trust me. Let's get into this email. Move this so I can see what I'm bloody doing. Right, try Dehancer online now. We've got a little presets, light, ooh, spelling, color and effects. Meet Dehancer online. Our revolutionary photo editor brings retro film, forget it, aesthetics to your browser. Firstly, is this at all unusual? We know what it's like to edit in Lightroom or Photoshop or Capture One or whatever, because if it falls at that hurdle, then it's game over. We can all just finish this video and go and watch something else. Secondly, is it any good? Because if it can be different and good, then it might just have the potential to revolutionize photo editing. Let's just go and give it a try. Okay, so here we are. Right, I've not done this before. My first time in this website. So the files it supports are JPEGs, TIFFs, HIKE, WEP, and DNUG. I have prepared three images. This first one of a gas station. It's processing. Ooh. 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 As I'm zooming out on the mouse, it's giving me, it's showing me more options. Look at all these. So, okay. Oh, I can. I can drag, okay. So we've got featured, and we can see the different looks there that are featured. Then we've got all the color flims that each have their own look. And then there's black and white. So if I zoom in, oh look, if we can zoom in all the way, we can see the differences already without clicking them. That is different. I'm just gonna click one. Oh, look at that green. That is quite a difference. And it does look quite film-like. So, where do I go from here? Let's find, just find one that we like. Oh, that's very different. What do we like? I want something a little bit colorful. Let's go with, oh, that's dark though. It's dark. Let's go with it, let's see how it turns out. So this is Fuji Chrome Velvia 50 and a little uh, film stock emulation. So now where can we go, light? Oh, ah, I was not expecting that. Because normally I was expecting we'd have to twiddle some knobs and sliders. But this is, um, this just gives us visual options. Oh, and look, we can just find the one we like. Oh, even brighter. Oh, I like that. I love that there's lots of small variations. That's too bright. Let's go with this one. Okay, so now we've got a different point at where we're at. Oh, this is a game changer. So now this is cooler. And as we go down, they get warmer. Oh, nice. I do like a little bit of orange, a little bit warm. Let's go here like this. Yeah. All right, effects. Grain, mm. I'm feeling like there's too much grain already. i just dial it down a bit. I don't wanna get crazy on this as like a film thing. I just, I think it's innovative. That's nice, that adds something. Bloom, let's turn that on and off, see what it's doing. Kinda like it. Okay, let's turn it off. Oh, what a difference. That is night and day. And do you know what? I genuinely think it's better. And it's quick. I'm quite impressed with that. Adjust, fit and fill. Well, I just fill screen. Okay, adjust. Oh, so now even on top of that, we've got adjustments we can make. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess this is showing us kind of how we've got here. Color boost. I just like cranking things up just to see what they do. Do we like the washed out look? Yeah, I kind of do. I'm happy, I'm happy with that. That looks nice. Have I missed anything? Why has the effects got a dot on it? I don't know. I am gonna export that. Download photo. If 
photo has been downloaded to your device. All right. Well, I think that was a success. Let's move on to photo number two. How do I upload? There we go. Right. Photo number two is I'm going to go to Liam Beach. So this was taken in Miami. Right. Want something quite, quite moody, quite saturated. I love that you see these at a glance. This is revolutionary. How many times do you do this thing where you edit and you sort of click on one? No, don't like it. Click on something else. Undo. Click on something else. Undo. This is game changer. I've said it numerous times. It's a game changer. This real is looking nice. Light. Now we don't want it too light or too dark, really. I'm thinking this guy here. Color. Oh, it's a warm, I want more Miami vibes. Boy, I want that cool face. <laughs> Not that he's got a cool face. I just want his face to look fairly cool. Uh, this looks quite moody. Too moody? Yeah, let's go with that for now. Oh, that's quite intense, isn't it? Oh, I don't like him to start again. I like how quickly you can just start again. Let's go with the actor. Decision made light i like the way you can just be you're so zoomed out you can just see at a glance what kind of feels right like i know these down here are not the ones and i also know these up here are not the ones it's, you can see the different levels of contrast as well it's not just brighter or darker quite like these oh this is quite contrasty too contrasty probably in the blacks i'm gonna go with this one still got a bit of light in the shadows it's not dark it's not nighttime. let's have a look at the original yeah, oh, that is nicer. Definitely nicer. Right. I'll we'll just bump this temperature up and see what happens, see how it looks. Bring the tint down. Oh, no. Well, that's... There we go. A little less, a bit more. One of the two. What if we boost this colour and really get that such... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now we're rocking. Let's go crazy. Too much. Too much. Always go too far, then I dial it back. Sometimes I don't dial it back enough. Hold my hands up. It happens. Look at that. Yes. An experimental film from 1996. Download photo. Oh, and you can download the preset. That's interesting. Let's do one more. After two photos, I'm quite impressed with this. It's quick, it's easy, it gets good results. If only you could upload RAWs, as in... Canon rolls and things like that, rather than just DNGs. That would be cool. This is a picture of my Electro 35 film camera taken in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, uh, while making a video, which I'm editing now. Or, might be out now, depending on when you see this. It's a good one though. I go out to Sheboygan with a 10 pound film camera and have lots of trouble. This feels like a whole different selection of films. Should we try a black and white one? Is there any featured black and white films? Uh, HP5. HP5 is a classic film stock. Yeah, let's go with the HP5. Oh, damn, that looks just good straight out of the box. Mm, I love it. Maybe just go a bit brighter. It's nice. I kind of don't mind a little bit of extra grain on some black and white. I think it adds a little bit of, uh, a little bit of je ne sais quoi, a little bit of vibe. Let's get blooming mad. I like that a lot. Back to the original. Looks good to me. See that full screen. Beauty. Look at my cracked viewfinder here. That caused me no end of problems. Right. Let's explore. How quick was that? So that's three photos in like three minutes. That's insane. Okay, so the first question is, did it do what we hoped? So let's go back to our original questions. One was, is it unusual and different? Well, yes, I think it's pretty clear. It's a different approach. The second question was, is it any good? And I think it is. We got good results quickly. We got three good final photos, full resolution, that looked, you know, a certain way. And that was really quick. It didn't take long at all. I've spent way long editing one photo to look half as good as those. Now look, at this point, is this going to have advanced photographers ditching their workflows for weddings and big client shoots? Absolutely not. Is it going to help some new photographers get better results quicker? For sure. While the results are authentic and nice, the film style is going to be too niche for many. But let's get back to what I said at the start. This might just be a preview of a different route for photo editing in the future. You can see a huge number of options before you click a button. That's awesome. No more click it, see it, hate, undo, try something else, or endlessly fiddling with sliders. 
and the cloud-based quick edits from anywhere is pretty cool too. If you've been editing photos for a while and know what you're doing and what every Photoshop or Lightroom tool does, try and think back to what it was like when you first started. These apps can be really intimidating and can stop some people from actually getting into photography. And it shouldn't be about whether you can use a laptop or not and an ed editing software. It should be about whether you can take good photos. So imagine getting good results and experimenting without pulling your hair out in those early stages. Finding your style, finding a style you like, and then going on to being passionate about it and learning the advanced stuff if you have to. This is like an encouraging kick to help people get over that first hurdle. Some people will like to gatekeep and don't want more people coming in. Well, they could be off because once upon a time, people in the darkroom thought the same thing about Photoshop. Like anything that thrives, photography needs new blood and innovation. This might help on both of those. So go and head over to online.dehancer.com and see what you think of it and let me know in the comments. I'm really intrigued. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe for more content about cameras and give us a like if you want. And, and do one thing for me, be a good human, say.